people gather together annually at a festival where color explosions go off every hour. The aim is to get covered in bright, brilliant colors they offer and to unify people of all different races and areas, as well as to enjoy good music, of course. We are talking about the We Are One Color Festival, and it's an open-air festival where people throw powder in the air to express their freedom of everyday life. To tell us more about the festival, we are have in studio Katleko Mapunyane, who's the organizer of this year's festival. Katleko, welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about this idea. I mean, this is a crazy idea. How did this come about? Uh, well, you mean a fun idea, actually. Uh, mm, it originated <laughs> was originated and inspired by the Holy One Festival um, in India, actually. And, to and what happens at the Holy One Festival, very similar to what happens here, how have South Africans um, reacted to and responded to the call to they've this festival? They've, they've actually extremely had, had a great time with it. I mean, uh, since we started it last year, last year in March, first time in Cape Town, uh, brought it up to Joburg. There have been a couple of others before, but this is the real original one that first started in South Africa. It's all about fun, like you said earlier. It's all about having a great time with friends. The there are DJs, and it's all about encapsulating, encapsulating the, the unity of South Africans, South Africans and the youth. Mm. There, there as obviously, as you've mentioned, there's a deeper message to this. And how are people, uh, and how have they responded to the message? This is all about breaking down stereotypes. It's all about saying we are all one, and we yes, have exactly. the same issues on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, yes, no, that, that's, that's it, exactly. Um, you know, es essentially, last year it was sold out. And the, the response has been absolutely amazing. This year, we were hoping to hit the same way, uh, where it isn't about what race you are. Um, at last year's event, every single color, race, creed, age group was actually represented uh, within the youth ma target market that, that we're looking at. When you, when you talk about sold out, what numbers are we talking about? Because you, you have it in Cape Town, you have it in Joburg. Correct. How are how's, how's the festivals different in the two provinces, or are they very similar? They're very similar because we are the same company mm -hmm. that are organizing the Cape Town one and the Joburg one. And by sold out, I mean last year we had 15,000 people in the Joburg or at the Joburg event. So that, that's a really good number. Mm. I'm looking at the pictures here and I'm absolutely blown away by just the, the actual visuals. When we talk about powder, color and all that kind of stuff, is this easy to wash off? Yes, it is. It's actually extremely environmentally friendly. And uh, all you have to do is just pop it into the washing machine and, you know, <laughs> just, just like any other normal clothes, it just comes off. You've mentioned the word youth there quite a lot, but I mean, is this uh, festival only aimed at youth? Is it open to families, anybody who's interested, or what kind of festival is this? Well, it is open to anyone that is interested, but under eight, I'm sorry, over 18. Uh, people must be over 18. That is, that is the one thing that we'll be very strict about. Uh, we do take the safety and the security of the people very seriously. Mm. Um, and as, as much as, as it is for people to come and have fun, we have an amazing fairy tale carnival this year that, mm -hmm. that we've themed the party as. I mean, that's how, how we're setting ourselves apart from, from other color festivals that have happened in South Africa. Mm. But um, it essentially, there's all about coming down, having fun, whether your friends are black, white, and uh, you know, essentially between the ages of 18 and 35. Come play around. Yeah. Um, you said that originated in India with the Holy One Festival. Mm. Any relationship with the, with the international guys or? Is this just uh, an idea taken from there? To be honest with you, it's, tru it's, it's, it's truly just inspired from the Indian Holy One Festival. Um, and what we've done is just taken what works, what we think works for the South African market and um, customize it for that. Quickly, when is it happening? It's happening on the 21st of March, which is the public holiday in Cape Town at the Grand Parade. And at the Emerentia Dam on the 22nd of March, which is the Friday, the very next day. Sorry, the Saturday, the very next day. Okay, we're going to leave it there, but thank you very much for joining me. That was uh, Katleko Mapunyane, who's here to inform us about the festival and hopefully answer some of your questions that you needed to know about the Color Festival. The Color Powder are safe, water soluble, completely non toxic, and environmentally friendly if you're worried about that. If you would like to take part in the festivities, make sure you get your hands on the tickets and make your way to Emerentia Dam on the 22nd of March, that's 2014 this year. Doors open at 12.